In this video, we'll take a look at some of the changes of Bible Analyzer 4.3. There are a few minor appearance changes, such as the menu bar. It's, you can see it's smaller, and it's in a single bar up at the top, which allows you to move this text entry or quick entry box down to be in line with the others, where normally by default it was up here. There's also some minor appearance changes to the dictionary and commentary headers. We can do a uh, right click on a verse and there will be a new menu, submenu pop up called Word Cloud and Multi Window. We'll click for the Word Cloud in this chapter, which is Romans chapter 4. And as you can see, there are words displayed here in a single paragraph that are different color and different sizes, and the color and size is directly proportional to the frequency of the words found in the book. The 100 top hits are listed here according to their frequency. Also, you can not only do chapters, but you can do entire books as well. Another thing, we will click the master control panel, and now it can be resized. It used to be it couldn't be resized, but now it can be to better accommodate people who have different display settings in their monitor to where they can see all the text. And as you can see here, here's our books articles tab, which always used to be the place where we went to select our book titles, but now that's not necessary. I'll expand this so we can see it better. Because if you click just the Books tab, all of the titles will display, the book article titles will display as links within that page. And then you simply click the link to go to the, open the title and view the chapters. And then you can click a chapter to view uh, the contents of that chapter. And here we have a reworked Bonnell's Combined Word Book, which includes the word clouds that we have distributed previously. And we'll click on one of these. As you can see, there's the familiar word clouds. But now below that are thousands of links that show all the multiple occurring words in that book, all the three word phrases in that book, also the unique words in that book, and so forth. This is for all 66 books of the Bible plus 10 Bible sections. So this is a new module with 4.3, and it's a very, uh, very interesting and helpful module. As you can see at the top, and also at the bottom, there are header and footer links, which allow you to conveniently go back and forth from you know, chapter to chapter or go up levels to get to the previous title level. Here we're back up to the top again, and we'll click another new module found in the Bible Analyzer, which is the Expositor's Bible. And here we have all 43 volumes of the Expositor's Bible in Bible Analyzer book format. And you can click, we'll click Joshua here, as you can see, the chapters display, and we'll click another one to open up the book. And here is the contents of one of the chapters in the Expositor's Bible of Joshua. There are over 1,400 chapters. Of course, they're all hyperlinked with the, the verses. And they also have footnotes. There are over 5,000 footnotes in the Expositor's Bible, and they're all linked. See here at the bottom, we click it, and it'll take us back up to our footnote. Of course, we click the footnote, and it'll take us the footnote indicator and it'll take us down to the actual footnote at the bottom of the page. So there are over 5,000 of these footnotes and this makes it very easy to uh, navigate through the Expositor's Bible. All 43 volumes are placed under one heading volume as you can see here which is a new feature also in 4.3. A title group here. We click that and then this brings up the 43 volumes and you can click those. So this is just some of the features of the Expositor's Bible and the Bible Analyzer 4.3. And you can go to our website, BibleAnalyzer.com, and get more details or download Bible Analyzer. It's absolutely free and try it out for yourself. But we thank you for your time, and we hope that you find uh, Bible Analyzer of value.